Hello everybody, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. This should be the last episode of Roxas' section because some really weird stuff is now happening. I mean, weird stuff's been happening for the entire Let's Play. But now our friends Hanger, Pence, and Alette don't even notice us and they literally ran right through me. <laughs> they ran right through Roxas, I don't think he's on a weird trip anymore. No, this is just something weird is going on here. And we're gonna find out what it is. And we have all these abilities now. And we've got, yeah, potions. Anyhow, let's, let's investigate. Look at what it's come to. I've been given these icky orders to destroy you if you refuse to come back with me. We're best friends, right? Sure, but I'm not getting turned into a dusk for... Wait a sec. You remember now? E yeah. Great! But, you know, gotta make sure and all, so, uh... Um... What's our boss's name? Unknown. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh, can't believe this. <laughs> I've got a stick. I can beat you up. So we actually don't attack Axel, we have to defeat the Dusks here. Nothing we... <laughs> Axel's like, you're not beating me up this time. You can also just die here to advance it, but we want to get the experience. These are annoying enemies. This is a new enemy called an assassin. And what they do is they hide in the ground and try to attack you. And if they do that, they're going to pull out these attacks and you need to block them. Otherwise, they're going to hit you real hard. Just like that. Roxas, to the mansion. The time has come. Painter! Pence! Olette! <laughs> so even Axel's getting frozen now? Time has completely halted. Well, we could go back to the usual spot, but no. Gotta go to the mansion. The Roxas that I know is long gone. Fine. I see how it is. How dare you. <laughs> that was a delayed finisher. Yeah, those creepers are really annoying enemies. Or not creepers, those assassins are really annoying enemies. Because again, going into the ground makes them completely invincible and they're very powerful and can stun lock you very easily like they just did. So you've gotta be, you gotta time your blocks very well. Let's try to beat this guy, all right. Oh good, he's above the ground. There we go. And you don't have to fight these guys. Oh, this is not good. No, you blocked in the wrong direction, you lack wit. Alright, let's try this again. Ouch. That's not nice. No, it's stupid. Wow. Those dusks were so annoying. They kept attacking me when I was trying to get the assassin. You can also parry the attacks to make them come up a little above ground. Goodbye. 
There we go. That was probably more trouble than it was worth. They don't give a whole lot of experience. Double creeper. Cool. Fighting two creepers at once can be kind of annoying. Because while one is above ground, the other can try slicing you while underground. They're not, I keep calling them creepers, they're assassins. More dusts? Really? Don't call me and then lock me out. Oh, it's just three dusks. You can take them. Or you can turn your back on them and uh, do that. Sure. Wow, the keyblade just made the lock disappear. It didn't even unlock it, it just made it disappear. Whoa! You've seen that soul eater before, haven't you? The mansion foyer. So now we're actually inside the mansion and can walk around. That's pretty cool. Go into this room first, because there's some treasure chests in here. There's a potion in that chest. And an elven bandana in that one. That's a piece of armor that we can equip. It boosts our defense by one. And again, with that probably won't make any difference at all on critical mode, but let's equip it nonetheless. Oh, hi. I forgot you guys appeared. These guys are creepers. The little pairs of shoes. Okay, cool. Defense increased. Again, probably won't make a difference. Creepers are actually very easy to deal with. Assassins are not. Yeah, I'm always worried when fighting double assassins, because one can try doing that, and the other is above ground. So you're trying to pull one above ground, but then the guy below just snipes you. Because if you get hit by the first move in that attack, you're dead. Because they're going to hit you with every attack. We met, We first saw creepers, these guys, in the Twilight Porn fight, but I didn't pay much attention to them because I wanted to kill Twilight Porn. Their main, these guys' main method of attack is that they can turn into spears, jump in the air, and land on you. But they're pretty slow to attack, so they're very easy enemies to deal with. Even easier than Dusks. The castle object is crumbling. Oh no. Potion in that chest. I'm actually glad I'm getting so many potions, because I remember in Kingdom Hearts 1, for the most part, you just had to buy potions. You got a few, but not a whole lot. In this, they just kind of hand them to you. Which is good, because actually, potions can be a better option of healing than cure in this. More on that once we actually get cure. All her drawings are still in here. That wasn't just a dream. Mine's made up. Why did the Keyblade choose me? I have to know. 
You can't turn on the organization. Oh, so Roxas was part of the organization at one point. Oh. Hey, cutie. Organization 13. They're a bad group. Bad or good? I don't know. They're a group of incomplete people who wish to be whole. To that end, they're desperately searching for something. What? Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Funny? It's just... I think... I've been running away from the question I really want to ask. What's gonna happen to me now? Just tell me that. Nothing else really matters anymore. You are... Nominate! What? No! Get back here! There's no knowledge that has the power to change your fate. Even if it doesn't, I want to know. I have the right to know. A nobody doesn't have a right to know. Nor does it even have the right to be. But what is a nobody? Diz, we're out of time. Too many nobodies. Roxas, nobodies like us are only half a person. You won't disappear. You'll be whole. I'll disappear? She just said you wouldn't. No further outbursts. No, you won't disappear. You'll... Wait. Beat him up. Roxas, we will meet again. And then we can talk about everything. I may not know it's you, and you may not know it's me. But we will meet again. Someday soon. I promise. Let her go. Nominate. Man, this is a jerk. I gotta save my girl. And we get nominee sketches. Sketches with my nominee. The drawings appear to have deep meaning. And we get the map of the mansion. I don't know how, but you know. I mean, I know how we got nominee sketches. We just pick them up. But did she also leave us a map of the castle? That would be pretty nice. Even though I already know my way around the mansion. Oh, wait, hang on. Before we go... I think there's something in here we have to examine. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Alright. I already beat you up. Why are you back? Bam. Also, I just noticed, I believe Sora is left-handed and Roxas is right-handed. That's kind of interesting. Being left-handed myself, I appreciate it. Oh, no. Oh, good. Cool. Once you know how to defeat creepers, they're not that bad. Yeah, this room is a dead end normally. But now that we have nominee sketches, we know what to draw. I don't know how this works, but all right. It's like you use a crown to draw a symbol and then this happens. Ooh, <laughs> it's Dexter's Laboratory. A high potion. Oh, you. Oh wait, hang on. We can only equip three items. I was gonna be. Let's equip some high potions. But at this point in the game, potions do just as much. <laughs> Guys, I think we found the computer room. This is where Diz was doing his stuff.
It's Alexeus. All the members of the organization for King Mara Lucia. You. Axel. Zexion. Vexin. And then guy with the tallest chair. Oh no, guy with the shortest chair, Roxas. can maintain the simulated town until Namine finishes chaining together Sora's memories. What will happen to Roxas? He holds half of Sora's power within him. In the end, he'll have to give it back. Until then, he'll need another personality to throw off his pursuers. Poor thing. It's the fate of a nobody. in his destructive teenage phase. Oh, hey, that worked! Sometimes kicking the computers is the right thing to do. Yeah, so... I do have mixed feelings about the prologue of this game, now that we're basically at the end. On the one hand, there are parts of it that are really boring, like the Seven Wonders of Twilight Town and doing jobs. But on the other hand, I do really like the overall story where you're just thrown in, like, who the heck is this guy? And, like, all these the crazy things that are going on, and you just slowly piece it together. I actually think it is very well done on the whole, and I, like, on my first playthrough, I'm like, this is so boring, I just want to play as Sora, but now, uh, I can actually appreciate that there are other rocks in section, so, for those of you who are still confused trying to piece it together, basically, the organization from Chain of Memories, Roxas was a part of it at one point, and he and Axel were best friends, then for some reason he decided to leave the organization, left Axel behind, the organization's trying to find him, he fought Riku, uh, Riku beat him, then uh, Diz and the other guy, supposedly Ansem, found us and threw us in like a fake Twilight Town, just and with like an altered memory, which is what we were in for this prologue. And the organization was basically trying to find them, and now here we are. More nobodies! Feed all the strange enemies. This can be a tough fight. There's four dusts, which is kind of a lot. And there are multiple waves. Oh yeah, once you kill three of the dusts, the creepers. Not, I keep saying creepers, they're assassins. The assassins are creepers. Simply amazing, Roxas. Axel, you really do remember me this time. I'm so flattered! But you're too late! Oh yeah, it's going down. Oh. Come here, I'll make 
So this is the final fight of the Roxas section. This is the final fight against Axel. And this fight's awesome. We get to dual wield the Oath Keeper and Oblivion Keyblades. It's so cool. We finally get to use two Keyblades at once. And I love how it's using like kind of an, a more emotional and epic version of the 13th struggle from Chain of Memories. This fight's pretty simple, but don't underestimate it. <laughs> Pop a potion if you have to, but oh, you can kind of just enjoy it. <laughs> Axel's got a lot of HP, but he's still way easier in this than he was uh, for the second fight in Chain of Memories. There's, there's some reaction commands you can also do against him, which I'll try to get into a bit later. When he, when he jumps into the wall, stand in the center, and a reaction command will appear. And we can clear the fiery floor away. And that deals a ton of damage to him. Roxas is so powerful with the two Keyblades, it's so good! Because we saw him dual wielding Keyblades in the cutscenes as well. I love that fight so much. You get on their bad side and they'll destroy you! No one would miss me. That's not true. I would. That fight's also a lot more emotional if you've played Free Five Eight over two days before this. Axel. Let's meet again in the next life. Yeah, I'll be waiting. Silly. Just because you have a next life. Bye, Axel. You're one of my favorite characters. That's weird. That's very weird. Because last time I checked, those were in Castle Oblivion. So either this fake town is actually Castle Oblivion, or they just moved the pods. You decide. Donald is sleeping inside. Goofy is sleeping inside. I want you as my party members. We can get one last high potion in that chest. All right, you. At last, the key blades chosen one. Who are you talking to? Me or Sora? To half of Sora, of course. You reside in darkness. What I need is someone who can move about the realm of light and destroy Organization 13. Why? Who are you? I am a servant of the world. <laughs> and if I'm a servant, then you should consider yourself a tool at best. It's that... funny you should mention tools, because you seem to be a pretty big tool to me. <laughs> Was that supposed to be a joke? Because I'm not laughing. You get it, Roxas. My apologies. This is only a data-based projection. I hate you so much. You should share some of that hatred with Sora. He's far too nice for his own good. No! My heart belongs to me! Sora.
You're lucky. Looks like my summer vacation is over. Man, why'd you gotta start the game on such a depressing note? That last line in particular is pretty heart-wrenching. As well as Broxus's theme song playing in the background. Good job, Square Enix. Okay, it's the wizard train. We didn't hallucinate it. It's, it's Mickey Mouse's train. Sora, who's there? Sora! Sora, wake up! That's that's too gnarly for my liking. Hmm, that was some man. You mean you? We were asleep. I guess we must have been, or I don't think we'd be so drowsy. Jimmy's not as big of a character as he was in Chain Man. Went to sleep. Let's see. We defeated Ansem. Yeah, about that. <laughs> restored peace to the world. Found Kyrie. Oh yeah. And then we went to look for Riku. I think that's right so far. Then we went to that all you can eat buffet. What does turtle say, Jiminy? Gee, there's only one sentence. Thank nominate. Hmm. I wonder who that is. She's the best girl, that's who she is. <laughs> to be fair, Jiminy should have written more than one sentence at the end of Chain of Memories. When it's like, you're going to lose all your memories. That's okay. I'll just write thank nominates. You're not going to mention who she is, what she did, or why you guys are in there. Okay. okay. Uh, well, what do you say we find out where we are? And we get party members at last. Donald and Goofy. Yeah. Sora has all the same abilities as Roxas, all the same equipment and items as Roxas. Donald has Donald Thunder, called out a bombard <laughs> bombardment of lightning bolts on your target, it costs 10 MP. Uh, and Donald Cure, cures all, or cures, cures a party member's HP, costs all your MP. Yeah, so <laughs> that's where uh, that's where Cure is a lot worse than this, because in, in Kingdom Hearts 1, you can just spam Cure over and over again. In this, it takes your entire MP meter. Not all your max MP, but just whatever MP you have left. It instantly sends you into your MP recharge. I'm gonna say, Donald, you use that only when, it, like, in emergencies. And focus on Thunder for the most part. Goofy is Goofy Bash, an effective ranged attack, throwing a shield at an enemy from afar. It costs 10 MP. Yeah, you can use that freely. And Goofy's items ha are 50% more effective. Cool. Uh, okay, Donald, I'm gonna just, uh, take these items off of you because I can use them better than you. Eifers are really good in this, by the way. They're, I mean, Eifers are really good in every Kingdom Hearts game. Goofy, I don't trust you to use potions. Alright. <laughs> Party members just use... Use items in a really bad way. They're, they're terrible at doing it. Anyhow, I think that's everything. Oh yeah, this is the journal we can check. Oh, we'll, we'll do more of the journal later. You can now view the status of party members from the main menu. All of Roxas' abilities and money have been passed on to Sora. Jimmy's journal contains hints of what to do in, uh, for future past events. 
Cool. A yuck? Don't go back to the mansion. You may fall asleep again. Besides, we should check out what kind of place this is. I'm excited. Alright. Oh, my terrible Donald Duck voice is gonna come back. You were asleep for so long, you still may be kind of day, Sora. Don't worry, if you forget what we have to do, just check Jimmy's journal. <laughs> oh, that's, that's terrible. We can sneak back here and open some chests. Because believe it or not, once you leave this area, you pretty much can never come back until like the end of the game. And we get a Mithril Shard, get used to seeing those in chests. I got stuff to do. No, oh, come on! Why can't we go back in the mansion? Literally, some of the best, some of the best items are hidden in that mansion. And of course, you can't return there till like the end of the game. Like the recipe for the ultimate weapon is in that mansion. Dog on it. Also, sorry, your shorts are a little um short. Maybe we should buy some new shorts. <laughs> you didn't want to watch us walk all the way through the woods and through the tram common, did you? That would be boring. <laughs> You know, I think I've been to this town. Well, you've, you have. You've been to... <laughs> well, Roxas has been to this town, and you're he's part of you. Also, um, you went here in Chain of Memories, but you don't remember that. What's the town? Hmm. Guess I must have imagined it. Euphrid, you're actually real. Not just data people. What's up? Who the heck are these people? We just had a weird kid with really short shorts and a sentient dog and duck enter here. What do you want? Uh, nothing. Just wondering what was back here. Now you know. This is our spot. Um... What? You're... New around here, right? I'm Pence. Hainer, nice to meet you. But we got stuff to do, so catch you later. <laughs> My name's Alette. Hey, did you finish up the summer homework yet? Independent studies are the worst, huh? Homework? <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> I come from an island where we don't have school. <laughs> don't look at us, we never went to school. What are your names? Oh, sorry. Uh, we're Sora, Donald, and Goofy. It's always in that order in this game. Even though Goofy's introduced him, he's not like, I'm Goofy, that's Sora, that's Donald. No, it always has to be Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Hey there. Sora, Donald, Goofy. What did I tell you? We just met someone who was looking for you. He sure seemed in a hurry. He had a black coat on, so I couldn't see his face. But he had these... Big round ears. Where'd you see him? At the station. The station, thanks. Well, you'd better get back to that assignment. We're still Later. not quite done with Twilight Town. Oh boy, the kid's trying to find us. Yeah, let's get to the station. Well, we'll have to get to the station next time on Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Thanks for watching, everybody. Sorry this was kind of a depressing ending for Roxas, but oh well. What can we do? <laughs> well, what you gonna do? Tune in next time. We're finally sore. We're gonna go to the train station, meet King Mickey, and we're gonna explore some new areas. That'll be fun. Look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.